goodness. <laughs> This week I headed up to New Smyrna Beach. Where we're gonna be fishing at a Ponce Inlet. It's the first week of November. We're here for the Big Bull Reds in the inlet. If that works out, we may head offshore as well. I got a young kid eating up with fishing. Zach Trong's his name. He let me know he was on a great bite up here. You know, and this is a young kid. He's only 16 years old, but like I said, he, he, he the guy lives and breathes to fish. He's out here every weekend with his dad. Yeah, um, he's a super supportive family. They love fishing as well, and it's just a unique opportunity for me to get up here someplace new and check out this fishery. Uh, I'm 16 years old. I attend University High School. I'm a junior there. Uh, I don't have my driver's license yet, but I do have my boater's license because I tend to spend most of my time on the water than off of it. Uh, my dad got me into fishing when I was about two years old. Ever since then, it just kept on growing to a bad addiction pretty much. Well, a good addiction in my books. What a morning. First thing, New Smyrna Beach, Ponce Inlet, Zach Trong. What do you think? What do you got planned for us out here? Uh, we're going to try to hit the bull reds at the tip of the inlet. See so if they, we can get they, they wash in and out of these inlets? You get yeah, some big ones, right? They just come right through, up to 50 inches mostly. Wow. So we'll do that. We'll bounce the bottom. If that pans out, you got some other stuff in store as well? Yeah, if it's calm enough, we can go out for, um, offshore for some snapper, cobia, kings, whatever bites. Awesome. Well, it's pretty morning. It's fall time. We got decent weather conditions here. So let's get out there. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Our plan was to make our way out to the inlet and just look around for these fish. We got out to the mouth of the inlet. And talking to Zach, his primary you know, way of targeting these fish is baits on the bottom, You know, live bait, dead bait on the bottom. I decided just to grab a prospecting bait, grab a Savage Gear shrimp, just cover a lot of water with it. It wasn't a lot of moving water at the time. The bait was able to get down to the bottom. And wouldn't you know, I hooked the first red of the day. I was bouncing that Savage gear, shrimp across the bottom and just got hammered. You're kind of sitting here on a slack tide, not really doing much, not really too hopeful actually, and passing time just chatting with Zach and just dragging his shrimp across the bottom. Next thing you know, I'm hooked up. When I first hooked this fish, I'm thinking it was a small fish, maybe a jack or blue fish. I wasn't that impressed, but I tell you what, this fish woke up and I knew I had the right one on. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice a fat fish. boy. On artificial, that's a sick fish yeah. right there on that savage. That might be the key to shrimp. It's funny, we were just waiting for the tide to change. I had a couple of baits out the back and just dragging this shrimp. I put it on a jig head and I was just dragging it across the bottom. Thump, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's a bull. That is a bull. Oh, Zach. Need some help up there, old man? I tell you what, bro. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the age. It's worse when I have to fish with a 16-year-old. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, cool. There we go. <laughs> and solid fish, George. Goodness gracious. Look at that. It's the ones you were talking about right there. Oh, yeah. That's a sporties. Mid 40 inch fish. Look at solid that savage fish. gear shrimp just bouncing the bottom. Got it done. That's a, gets back in the water. Get her back nice and healthy. It took me a good 10 minutes to get this fish in. This is a big bull red. This is the one that Zach was telling me about. This is the size of the fish that he's been catching every weekend out here. All right, let's, let's, Zach, I'm gonna let this one go. It about wore me out. <laughs> I'm sure there's more down there. Look how pretty that oh, fish yeah. is. God, let's let her get back in the water. Gorgeous. Oh, there she goes. Woo! <laughs> nice job, George. Good job, brother. Thanks yeah. for putting me on him. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild.
We were waiting for this tide to change, and once they got rolling in, you could really see the bottom contour, um, kind of why these fish were staging up in the area that they were. They were sitting on this bar, and they were just moving back and forth. And when a school came through, it, it was game on. There you go. Good job. That feels like a red right here. Good one? Yeah. Once this tie got ripping, you know, I got lucky with catching the one I did on a light tackle. You could not use that kind of tackle once the tie was flowing. I mean, it's five, six knots, probably maybe seven knots of, of tide, and we had to break out the big guns. We're using 60, 80 pound braid, you know, several ounces of lead to get the bait down to the bottom. You really need to tackle up to handle these big fish. Oh, that's a big boy. 40. Oh. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Come on, girl. Wow. Don't slow her down. Let her go. That was a free line pinfish right there. That wasn't even a weighted one. Yeah, it came up and crushed it. So this is what you do with your dad on the weekends, pretty much? Come out here? Every hey. single weekend. Every single weekend. Finish up all the schoolwork, and I'm out here. <laughs> God, what a strong fish. Big breeders too, you don't want to fight them for too yeah, long. Yeah, gotta get them to the boat quick. You're putting everything you got, that's 50 pound braid. Yeah, drag. this drag's almost locked down too. Palming it. Look at that fish. That's full grown, man. Yeah, that's a big bull. That girl. God. And now, what's the timing of these? What's the best time of the year to come down here and get onto these? Um, Mid-fall is probably the best time for redfish. Okay, so we're, we're about there. Look at this thing. God. Got it, George. I got her, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! <laughs> oh, woohoo, man! Look at the size of that thing. Man, she's huge. What? Look at the head on her. Giant red That's... drum, Ponce Inlet, New Smyrna Beach. God, you said those are the ones you're catching. This one ate a pinfish. Just on that trail car circle hook, just drifting through there, that pinfish had the tendency to want to swim down to the bottom, and you yeah. said it was going to happen. And Boom. Once that tide got flowing, they started feeding. Why don't you let her go? You got her? Yeah. Oh, what a tank. Let her go, man. Wow, awesome. Here she goes. Right down to the bottom. Good job, brother, man. Nice. Jeez. George had a line out sticking off the, um, the port corner. And we were just uh, waiting for the bite. You know, it was getting slow. We weren't expecting much. Next thing you know, the pole doubled over and his drag was screaming. There he is. Oh! Come on, Georgie. What a stud. Oh, oh. Not the back ain't sore enough as it is. Oh, God, Zach, what a fisher. How long have you been fishing down here? I've been fishing in this area since I was, I think, four years old. Oh, God. When I first came out in the salt. You said even you got your sister into it now, too? Yeah, I got Younger my sister. sister. Yep. The whole family comes out here and gets involved? Yeah, we all have fun out here. Enjoy the weekend. Just relax. You know, it's hard not to enjoy this. This is... Yeah. And this is the type of stuff that the kids actually can do. You can take some younger kids out, and just set some baits up, and yep. let them pull on some serious, serious fish. Now, this fish is fighting like... Not even like the other ones. You know, the other ones we were catching were big, but this... I couldn't even turn this fish in the tide. 80 pounds of braid, drags locked all the way down. This fish is having its way with me. That's an 8,000 clash with 80 pound braid. You're right, he makes his mind up to go one way and you're just not gonna stop him. He's gonna do what he wants to do in this current. Not only are you fighting a 40 to 50 inch redfish, you're fighting probably five, six knot current. The tide is ripping in right now and they're just using this tide to their advantage. I get this fish up to the surface, it is the biggest redfish I ever caught. Probably high 40s, low 50s, a true giant, even for this area, it's a big one. Oh my God, look at that one, Zach. Dude, that's oh. one's really full grown right there. Oh. Golly. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> Stun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> that is a bull red. Just sitting there fishing this inlet. We've caught him on artificial, we've caught him on live bait. 
And that circle had gone right in the corner of the mouth. That trail car just, look at this. He's got some scarring, probably from porpoise damage. He got hit by a porpoise probably or a shark back in the day. You can tell that is an old girl right there. Let me, let me get a quick hold on her. Oh, look at that. Look at the head on that thing. Is that insane? That is a bull red. That trail car circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. There's fish and a mullet on the bottom. All day long here in New Smyrna Inlet. Incredible. Awesome. Wow. Oh nice job, George. God. Insane. <laughs> Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. I gotta tell you, fishing with Zach, I was super impressed. You know, traveling a long distance, I was gonna be fishing with a 16 year old that contacted me to tell me he's on a hot bite. You really never know what you're gonna get, but Zach really impressed me. He handled himself well. He was very mature for his age, you know, had a great knowledge of the fishery, well-spoken, and it was truly a pleasure to fish with him. It's amazing they grab it and they just swim up current with it so yeah, often. Yeah, so you don't know. You see the slack in your line, you know what's going on. Uh, interrupted my lunch. Oh, look at him back there. Oh yeah, it's a big girl. I don't think you have any little ones in this inlet. God, they get in that current and you just cannot turn them. Yep, they bulldog down that current and that's it. You gotta wait them out. Right. Look at that one. Wanna walk up, George? <sighs> Barely hooked. Nice! Ah. Oh, I just hit you in the head with a lead. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him like a baby. <laughs> that is oh, a solid yeah. fish. What a great fish. Oh! oh <laughs> what a good one. I am flat wore out, dude. I'm yeah. not afraid to admit it. I am done. These things will put a hurting on you. Another solid redfish in Ponce Inlet. I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah, it's gonna work. Nice. So I'm physically spent now. I can't reel in another redfish. We decided to call it early. We're gonna head in. Uh, Zach and his dad are gonna take me to a new place to hang out, Outrigger's Tiki Bar and Grill, great location. You know, we had an awesome dinner. I was able to sit back, listen to their stories, and it reminded me of how I got into fishing and it just brought me back to the days when I was 16 years old fishing with my father. Talking at dinner, we formulated a plan for the following day. We got the best of the redfish, and I really wanted to try offshore in this area, so our plan was to run out, fish some of the inshore reefs, and see what we could catch. All right, day two, man. What a day yesterday. We wore those redfish out. Yeah, I was tired by the end of the day as well. Oh, my back's feeling it. So a little something different today. We're going to stick with the red theme, head offshore, yep. red snapper. Yep. How far of a run? What are we doing? Uh, we're looking at about a 9 to 12 mile run. Well, season's closed on. It'll be catch and release, but let's get out there and let's give yep. it a try. Running the Triton out Ponce Inlet the next morning, I got to tell you, man, we were greeted with just a beautiful sunrise. It was a nice, pleasant ride out to the fishing grounds, and I was savoring all of it. We made our way 10, 12 miles offshore to these near shore reefs that Zach fishes with his father. And really, his primary targets red snapper, grouper, amberjack, and really never know when you head out here what you're going to catch. All right, first spot, 62 feet of water. What yep. do you think? Just, we're marking the bottom. It's lit up with that Ray Marine. Yeah, we got to drop some jigs down and see if we can bring the snapper up to the surface. And they'll come right up to the top. Yep. Oh, let's try it. My back is killing me from the day before, pulling all those bull reds. Um, and Zach takes me out here and he hooks me into this monster fish. Uh, get up here. Uh. You can do it. Uh. You got him. Uh. You got him, George. Uh. Uh. 
He's yours now. That is no joke right there. That's 77 feet of water. And you'll come out here and get your feelings hurt if you're not ready. Don't come out with the right gear, it ain't coming up. All you can do is hold on for these guys. Look at this thing. Oh, it's oh. an AJ. Holy cow. That's why my feelings were hurt. <laughs> Look at this thing. That is a toad AJ right there. A little baby over here. Oh. <laughs> I do not want to catch another one of those. <laughs> Man, just barely hold on to that thing. I was about to say, that was fighting like a snapper, like some giant snapper. Look at that thing. <laughs> It's a decent size AJ right there. Yeah. Those things good. are hard fighting. Good 15, 20 pounder. Woo! That thing wore me out. Right. God, I hope there's no more down there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a reef donkey. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Yozuri. Fish the best. I released mine and I think these Amberjack just took over the reef. You can see that Raymarine screen just lit up. I look over, Zach drops a bait down and the next thing you know, he's hooked into one. Get him, Zach. Come on, Zach. <laughs> What's the matter, young kid? <laughs> Not wussing out though. Get him. God, what a beast. Oh, this one feels like a snapper right here. It's not dogging like an AJ. A little snapper action. God, they're bruisers, aren't they? Oh, yeah. You catch a lot of these out here? Oh, yeah. We usually head out to deeper wrecks and we jig them up. These amberjack, you know, a lot of people target these. These, you know, a lot of people eat them. They're great for to make fish dip out of. They're great smoked. Um, and they are just unbelievable fighters. Oh man, that's a good one, Zach. It's not that red snapper we're looking for, but oh. Hey, better than nothing. You wanna come out here and pull on something. That's the thing to do with. These are really good smoke too. A lot of guys catch these and smoke them. They yeah, make good fish dip as yeah, well. Yeah, excellent fish dip. Oh, that's a solid one right there. I'm gonna let oh, him yeah. go. Down he goes. Good job, man. Woo! Oh. They will wear you out. Oh yeah. Awesome. To me, fishing is a way to escape from everyday life, you know, relax, kick back, enjoy the time with friends and family. You know. What you got? Right flavor? Feels like it. That one's ripped right out of my hand. Another AJ? Doesn't feel like it. Cobe? Is it a cobe? Nah. Cuda? Yeah. Wow. That thing is wild, man. Yeah. I don't see a lot of these around by me. Really? You get a lot of these around here? Everywhere. God, these things are cool. Yeah, we've had them up in our rivers, too. Really? Yeah, especially when the jacker valves come along. They just slice them in half. Look at the teeth on that thing. Look how cool that fish is. I can tell you, you can do some damage down there on those reefs. Yeah, check out those teeth. That one needs some dental work. <laughs> Reef's on the way down, huh? Yep, I was wondering why it went out faster. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, that's not, that's not normal. We spent a little more time out there, and actually we did end up getting a red snapper. It's kind of what I was hoping to catch. Um, they just weren't really chewing today well, but Zach ended up catching a small one, and they were pretty neat to see. There's your red snapper. <laughs> we got one. That's a pretty fish. Yeah. Even we, for a tiny one like this. Hey, we came out for one and we got one. That's, <laughs> that's success. Yeah. And they get pretty big out here. Oh yeah, they get about 20, 30 pounds. Excellent eating. Seasons are tightly regulated. There's not even an open season on them right now. There's a lot of, you know, controversy around that. But yeah. What a cool fish. At least we know there's one out here. That's right. Well. We've lost quite a few fish. Yep. Maybe I'm kind of used to it now because I've been doing the show for so many years, but I know this was a unique experience for Zach. At 16 years old, to be able to come out 
and film with the television show. And it was neat to see his dad out here participating as well. His dad ran the camera boat, was super involved, came to dinner with us. And you know what? This is what fishing's all about, getting out there with your family and enjoying the moments. It was an awesome experience for me to fish with George and show him our fishery and how something that I tend to do on every weekend and how we get to enjoy it. It was also nice of him to teach me how to throw a cast in and actually open it up like a pancake <laughs> over what I was throwing bananas and stuff, but it was a good time. It's been a solid two days of fishing. 16-year-old Zach Trong told me he was on a great bite in the Ponce Inlet area. I came all the way up here and I wasn't disappointed. Big bull reds in the inlet, variety of fish offshore. This is not going to be my last trip to New Smyrna Beach. God, I just got mine. Freaking spanked. Stay here. 